Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be pack with me or what I am packing on my Europe adventure. Um, in general, it's just a holiday, but I'm going to Europe during their winter time. So the packing, the things I have packed are quite specific to that. I tried to break it down into parts, like starting with my carry-on luggage, then like my suitcase, and then like the clothes that I'm taking. Um, and so I really hope that it's educational for you guys. You guys can get some ideas of things that you might be wanting to pack for when you go away. Um, and yeah, I just really hope that you enjoy these sorts of videos. I know I do. So if you do enjoy them, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up down below. Also, I just finished filming this makeup look, which should be up soon as well. So if you haven't already, don't forget to go and check that one out. Um, I'll leave the link in the description below. It is just a festive holiday, Christmas, special makeup look. <laughs> so without further ado, let's just get straight into what I am taking on my holiday. Okay guys, so first things first, I'm going to start with my carry-on luggage. So this is the bag that I'm going to be taking. It is, it says Coach Fragrance. It I got it when I bought the Coach perfume um, a year or two ago and this bag just happened to come with it because it was at Christmas time. So it was kind of like a little deal that they had going on. Inside, it's just so basic. There's no sleeves or anything, but it's just such a great size tote. Um, I really, this is what I always take when I'm traveling as my tote bag. So this is what I'm going to put everything in when I go on the plane. So the first thing I'm going to be putting in my um, carry-on is this little, cosmetics bag. It's got this little face cream moisturizer in there too so when I'm on the plane um, it gets really dry up <laughs> in the plane so I might want to put that on um, and then I have my lip balm and then I've got a scrunchie and this solid perfume just in case I feel a little bit gross like I feel like I smell gross or I can smell someone who is gross. <laughs> um, I've got this perf like solid perfume from Lush that I can pop on as well. Um, I might add to this but so far this is really all I think that I'm going to need. If anything that I'm going to add it might be like I don't know like a uh, a s hydrating spray, some like like tablets or something, like any medications that I might need. I might also just try and squish in here. Um, I actually will go ahead and add this hand cream. It's like almost finished, but it'll be enough for the flight, I think. So I'm just also going to add that because I know that my hands are going to get extremely dry. The next thing I'm going to add is my eye mask. This one is from Peter Alexander and it came in this wonderful little cushion pillow case. Um, I got this a while ago but they always seem to do these sorts of little eye masks in like all different colors and styles and whatnot. So I'm going to take that on the plane because I know sometimes they provide them on flights but I'm not going to risk it because I'm really sensitive to light and I really want to have as much peaceful of a rest as I can on board. And what I'm also going to fit in this case because it's actually quite stretchy is my lovely little um, lavender eye wheat bag I guess so this go this is it looks like a heat pack but it's not it's for your eyes and this is magic my friends this is absolute magic every time without fail every time I have trouble sleeping I put this on my eyes and within a few minutes I am knocked out like I do not remember falling asleep every single time I use this so for me this is my my life especially when like we're adjusting to the time zone differences in Europe. I know that I'm gonna need all the help I can to fall asleep over there So I'm gonna also take this on board with me next up. We have all my camera and camera gear so um, Everything will obviously be in its cases in my carry-on bag But for now, I've just taken it out so that you can see everything so I'm going to be it's kind of excessive But I'm gonna be taking this video camera um, This is going to be what's like this is gonna literally be used every single day we're going to film everything on this camera i've also got my nikon dslr camera so this is going to take some lovely shots of us um you know it's a bit more professional than just an iphone not that iphones are bad quality but um i just really want to get some good quality i mean like yeah as you can see in the reflection i'm filming this video on my phone right now <laughs> but um yeah i really want to take this camera because i don't actually use it that often and it just it's got all the nice settings so i hope i can capture a lot of beautiful photos of europe on this one um i've then also got my 
Polaroid, again, they kind of, it's going to be used for a bit more like exclusive, cute photographs that will go on my Polaroid wall. I have extra um, sheets in here and I've bought two new SIM cards, 164 and 132. Um, I don't really know if I, I'm like, I'm, every time I've bought a 64 gig, I've run out really quickly. So I thought I'd just get, you know, some more because look, they're really expensive, like $56 for a freaking card so I thought I'd get one of each and then I have this little case that all my SD cards go in so that will protect them because I'm gonna the packaging is just too much <laughs> yeah so that's all the camera gear that I'm gonna take in my carry-on because I do not trust leaving it in my luggage under the plane anything could get broken and anyone could steal it so this is coming with me on board for entertainment, I'm going to take a book. This is just the one that I'm sort of like reading at the moment called Super Herb. And then I obviously will need my phone charger and some earphones so that I can listen to a bunch of podcasts and audiobooks and music during the flights. Um, and then also a few little random things, but I'm going to take some antibacterial wipes just because getting off the planes and, you know, people germs and whatnot i'm a bit of a germaphobe and so i've got these to take with me a nice little handy packet and also some tissues because these are probably going to get used all in the first flight i just know um on the planes it gets so cold and i get really sniffly so without having to ask the hostesses for tissues i'm gonna have my own and feel comfortable knowing i've always got tissues on me the final few things that I'm going to pop in my carry-on is my travel journal and a little pen. I can't take my um, pencil case on board because it will have a pair of scissors in there. So I'm just going to take the book and one pen. Um, I'm also going to take um, my anti-nausea tablets as well so that if I'm on the flight and I'm feeling sick, I can take those. And then my valuables so in this little bag i'm gonna have all my jewelry earrings necklaces um bracelets rings everything in here um because jewelry is expensive and again i don't trust leaving it in my suitcase so i just pop it in this little pouch and i'm probably not even going to take very much jewelry but whatever i do take i'm going to keep it on board with me as well the only things I have to get now is a neck pillow and that will be everything that I'm taking on board with me. Okay, so I've got two other bags that I'll be taking with me overseas other than my suitcase and my carry-on. And the first one is this little Mimco wristlet clutch. This is going to be what I take out to dinner with me every night. Um, but this is going to be my day tripper bag. So instead of taking a handbag, I'm taking this lovely little... Um, backpack that you guys have seen in my other videos um you can also have it as a handbag like you can have this one strap just over your shoulder rather than the two back straps so um yeah i think this is going to work perfect for me throughout the days it'll fit a little water bottle and also um all my papers and passport plus a camera as well so this is going to be the bag that i take on, like as my handbag essentially on board with me as well so what i'll put in here is will be my phone my wallet my passport boarding passes and all the paperwork that you've seen in my other video that's all the planning and whatnot for the trip first thing that i'm going to pop in are my shoes so i've got two pairs of boots the longer ones are for like pretty much everyday wear and then the little black ones with the heel are what I'm going to wear out to dinner as my like dress shoe and then on board with me I'm actually going to be wearing so those um, mint green converse this is what I'm going to be wearing on the flights so essentially I'm like packing one less shoe so I'm making sure I'm taking like I'm being conscious really with what I take on board and what I'm going to be wearing so that I'm not doubling up with things. So everyday shoe, everyday shoe and my nice going out evening shoes. Also stuffing into this compartment all of my socks and underwear, my layering tops, um, bras and my little like first aid and feminine hygiene products. So that can all stay in with the shoes. I've just gone and added this last bag here that's full of like a vomit bag, tissues, lots and lots of tissues, some Panadol, pain relief, hay fever, codrol, um, called night flu tablets, 
Um, I've got my razors so that I can shave. <laughs> I've got some like cotton buds and like a nasal spray. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything now that I'm gonna leave in this part. Now I'm gonna move over to this side where all my clothes are gonna go. So I've actually just gone ahead and switched out everything that I had on this side into this side because that side didn't have this like lining on it. It was just literally the metal bars and the um, plastic luggage material so i thought well i'm gonna i don't want my clothes in that so i put all my shoes in there and those bags of um underwear and everything that you just saw and then zipped that up and buckled it up as well so i can still put things on top of this side but i'm gonna actually start with the clothes on this side now i'm gonna be quite tactical when i pack because i know i've got fragile items like perfume and makeup so they're all in glass bottles so i want to lay down like a cushioning first and then put my um cosmetics on top and then layer more um clothes and cushioning so that nothing breaks okay so for now i think i actually have everything packed i just shoved in a little belt into that section i don't really know what else i can put in those little compartments i'm kind of just like it's already so full there so i'm just gonna leave the belt in there um but yeah i've got all my pajamas all my scarves my towel um all my pants that i'll be wearing jackets um tops and jumpers and whatnot so um obviously because it's gonna be really really cold like snowing basically i'm not taking any swimmers um what i will be wearing on the plane is um some tights like some uh gym tights and a turtleneck and a puffer jacket and also i'll wear like a sports bra that way if there's a gym um that i want to use i can go ahead and use that and of course i'm already wearing and i've got the items to wear okay so the suitcase is all zipped up and ready to go can i just say that i am very fearful that it is going to weigh more than 23 kilos. It was so heavy to lift this side over and then zip it up. I'm actually very, very nervous now. So um, hopefully it's under 23 kilos because I do plan on bringing back some souvenirs and there's literally no room in that suitcase. So I'm a bit scared. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you learned something or just had a bit of entertainment, you know, a little bit of a break from work or school, whatever you're doing, just to see what I'm taking away on my holiday. I leave in December, so it's literally less than two weeks away. It's really scary. I'm a little bit scared, but I'm also very excited to learn and grow and experience life away from my family um, and as an individual. And I really encourage people to do that. Um, you know, depending on your age, you might not be able to up and leave the country. <laughs> but even just, you know, letting little bits of independence here and there, I think that's really important. And that's something that I want to promote on my channel because it's something I'm very passionate about, have been for many, many years. Um, independence, I think, is something that is learnt. I don't think it's always, it's in us, but we don't always acknowledge it. And I think it's a big problem in today's age, I guess. I think everyone's just being like cuddled and sheltered and we need to learn to break away and be ourselves and be away from our friends and, and individual individualize ourselves so that is my rant over <laughs> sorry to end the video there but um i really hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next video bye guys